Hey everyone, um, this is going to be a quick mini reading for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and Union Energies. Um, I am still in bed, so things look a little bit scattered here, but um, the energy today shifted. It feels very calm, feels very gentle, and that's the word that they keep giving me, gentle, and that's the feeling. It just feels so nurturing and so loving between the counterparts, so I wanted to see what was going on. Um, I should be resting. I'm getting a little bit scolded by spirit, but um, in the end, I do feel like these messages want to come out. So it's really beautiful energy. Um, so let's get right into it. This is the Divine Masculine side. We have the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Wands, clarified by the Empress here. Um, first off, the Ten of Wands showed itself in the previous energy update on YouTube. Um, and the energy that was coming through there was, there are, well, it was Ten of Swords. Um, ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, same energy. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of karma. It's putting down the burdens. So if you haven't um, watched the reading that I already put up on YouTube this morning, make sure that you check it out because it's piggybacking off of this energy, although this is very, very gentle energy. So what I'm getting here is Divine Masculine is through the tarot moments that they have had, that dark night of the soul, the ego crumbling, they are now ready to put down those burdens. They're ready to leave the past in the past to get out of this Eight of Swords mental entrapment. And for, it depends on what wave you are in. Um, you know, I read for a certain segment, um, but you might be at different places on the journey. For some, you, the Divine Masculine might be coming out of this Eight of Swords energy just now. For others, they have emerged from that and are feeling victorious. And when they come out of this Eight of Swords energy, this mental imprisonment where they were just overthinking, overanalyzing, and just going over and over and over in their mind, remaining in their own toxic energy, this could be victim mentality, this could be self-pitying, self-loathing, a lack of self-worth. That's the burden that they were putting down because they had a shift in mindset. They were realizing that they were just holding themselves back. And so they've had this victory, which is leading them towards their empress because they have been seeing their divine feminine in this beautiful light. And for some, they might have even felt intimidated or jealous of their divine feminine for being in that light. Meanwhile, they were held in this mental prison. But what they're seeing is that they were just holding themselves back by keeping them trapped in these burdens, by keeping them trapped. I'm hearing the words mental facilities in their own mental facilities, but now they are overcoming. And that's this victory that they're feeling. And do you see in this card that sun shining? And we have the sun card here. That is this beautiful energy of overcoming. Oops, sorry. That is this beautiful energy of just the sun rising. And when they're out of this darkness, that's what they're going to be feeling. They're going to start feeling the lightness within their soul, this gentle, beautiful energy that's coming through. And with the sun here and the five of pentacles, they're taking themselves out of the cold. Because for many of them, the Divine Masculine had only abandoned themselves. When they withdrew from their Divine Feminine, when they withdrew from this connection, they withdrew from this love. And for a lot of it, it was because they didn't feel worthy, because they were trapped in toxic energy with karmic partners or other relationships. Um, and karmic partners doesn't have to be an ex. It could be a family member. It can be um, any soul contract that was meant to teach them, but was ultimately some kind of toxic energy it wasn't helping their soul growth um it could be a situation it could be an addiction it could be a belief that they were trapped in whatever it was that was keeping them from this love they're now realizing part of this victory part of overcoming this mental entrapment and putting down this burden it's almost like they're saying it's too much it's too much and it was time that i just lay these burdens down it's that brene brown quote of it's either Liz Gilbert or Brene Brown that no transformation happens without somebody first getting sick of their own bullshit. And that's the energy that I'm getting here where they're just like, it's too much. Like, what am I doing? And so they are shifting themselves, transforming themselves. They've had enough. And that's this victory energy. And now they're realizing that they were only abandoning themselves. And now with the sun card, the warmth of the sun, you see the divine masculine, divine feminine and their inner children energy here. Now they are realizing their worth. They're, they're talking to their inner child, loving their inner child, realizing that they were just abandoning their own inner child 
when they abandoned their divine feminine, when they abandoned this connection. And so with the warmth of the sun, they're bringing themselves out of the cold. Moving over to the divine feminine here, what's beautiful about this is they are feeling this beautiful, gentle energy as well. They're really stepping into their power, really stepping into their strength to overcome whatever pain had happened from the divine masculine side, whatever pain that they experienced from whatever it was the divine masculine was experiencing. Because remember, we feel it at each other's energies and not just that, but some of you might have been in a physical connection and experienced pain and heartbreak within your physical connection with your counterpart. But what's beautiful here is this is truly forgiveness energy. This is truly, um, it's a letting go of the past and overcoming the past with that strength card. And you see how she has her hand there so lovingly on that lion? This is a wanting of partnership again. And I'm going to call you back to the beautiful reading that I did. It was The Sun Always Rises. And we talked about, um, it was with the Little Prince reading, the Little Prince deck of cards. And it was all about the fox and the Little Prince taming each other, the Little Prince taming the fox. Because what happens when you tame, and, and um, the author used the word tame, but it's really about connecting with one another, acknowledging one another understanding that you're friends now and the world never looks the same once you tame another person this is not control this is about acknowledging connection this is about being in each other's lives this is about loving each other once you love each other your world is never the same that's the energy that i'm getting here and divine feminine is realizing that her world has never been the same since she met her divine masculine and that she wants this forgiveness she wants this connection and so she is recognizing that it may be a small offer that's coming forth for either her or for her divine masculine. It might be a small offer of forgiveness to her divine masculine. It might be a small offer of communication to her divine masculine. But it's one that is meant from the heart. It is one that has left all the past burdens behind, all the past pain behind. And she herself is coming forth to bring love back into the equation with her divine masculine because she knows that this is her wish fulfillment. And now she is choosing her wish fulfillment with this forgiveness. Forgiveness does not mean not acknowledging the past pain. It doesn't mean not wanting an apology for behavior or accepting that poor behavior, excusing that poor behavior. Forgiveness means coming from a place of love and compassion and understanding. And so with this chariot and the hermit clarified by the queen of swords, um, divine feminine is really wanting to move forward in this connection towards harmony towards peace wanting to take all the wisdom that she has gained to help her guide her towards communication with divine masculine and with the queen of swords here it's actually giving me queen of cups energy it's not cutting it's not harsh energy with the queen of swords this is her wanting to speak her truth having understood her boundaries, having understood her worth, having understood who she is and knowing what it means to express herself now. This is her wanting to come forward with communication for Divine Masculine, but in a loving, nurturing way, in a way of forgiveness. Forgiveness being the key equation here because she has risen in her power, overcome the past, ready to let the past be in the past and start fresh because she wants the sound of cups. She wants this harmony. She wants this love. And she is feeling this energy here from the divine masculine, this gentle energy, this victory, this coming in from the cold. So too does the divine feminine feel like she's coming in from the cold. So in the union energies, here is that queen of cups energy that I was picking up on here with the Queen of Swords, this is that communication in a loving, nurturing way. And it's like she's offering her Divine Masculine compassion and forgiveness there. And because she's offering her Divine Masculine compassion and forgiveness, he is stepping into that King of Swords energy, coming through with wisdom, coming through with intuition, leading from the heart and speaking from the heart, speaking true his feelings, speaking true his emotions, speaking true, expressing his true authentic self who he is without the mask because she has come forward not holding up a wall with resentment, not holding up a wall with anger towards her divine masculine because she has forgiven herself, because she's forgiven her divine masculine, because she's forgiven the situation. It's bringing in, ushering in this beautiful, gentle, loving, compassionate energy. And what is that doing? 
both of you are deciding to move forward together towards that Ace of Pentacles, towards that tangible new beginning, Ace of Pentacles also being an energy of, of um, commitment, walking through that gate together, walking into your future with new harmony, new forgiveness, just a new energy of it just all feels new. It just all feels beautiful, a beautiful new beginning. Both of you ready to take that step forward through. You see those two wands there? Almost like a doorway. You see that gate there? That's a doorway too. Both of you ready to start forward with this brand new beginning with each other. With each other now. That's this energy. You're both coming in from the cold. You're both warming up to the connection again. What once was lost is now being found again but it's fresh, it's new, it's putting the pain of the past behind, coming forward towards each other with forgiveness, with compassion, and most of all, with the love that has always been within this connection, the love that has always been with the two of you. Really beautiful energies here. We'll follow up um, within the next two days with another Sacred Union Energy update. We'll go pretty much in depth um, over on YouTube, so make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Susan Dawn Spiritual connections. Um, the link is in my bio if you like these readings um, and you've been following along with my story and you are interested in donating to um, my GoFundMe or direct donations. Um, my information to the GoFundMe is in the description box. Um, in I'm sorry, in my bio or in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube and all the information is um, in the description box on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I am sending you so much love, so much light, and uh, yeah, we'll be back with some more updates soon. Bye.